Well, hello guys. Welcome back. Oh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited for this video because I have genuinely never, ever, ever had such a requested video in my whole time of being on YouTube. Like, I just want to say thank you guys for the support recently. I honestly appreciate it so much. And I love creating these YouTube videos, so it makes me so happy that you guys are also really enjoying them. Um, but today, if you haven't realized it already, we are going to be doing some meal prep. I thought that obviously, as it's kind of like summertime, no one wants heavy meals. And even though I am intuitively eating at the moment, I'm still gonna include all of the macros and calories for every meal because I know it helps all of you. I'm gonna make sure that all of these meals are easy to prepare, they're quick, they're easy to eat, say if you're at work, if you're in the office, they're high in protein and they're easy to store. I've chosen three healthy recipes, which I absolutely love and I make these on a regular basis and I thought that I would just share them with you and hopefully you guys can level up your meal prep over the next few weeks. So before I get into this video, please make sure that you give my channel a subscribe, like this video. I appreciate honestly all the support and meal prep videos are probably one of my favorite things. I am slightly annoyed, I'm not gonna lie, because I ordered some new meal prep pots because I wanted it to be like all aesthetic and all cute. Oh, they haven't arrived, which is just really annoying and it really hurts my hurts my head because they just don't match but anyways we're gonna ignore that and you'll see later anyway <laughs> for every single recipe that i'm gonna be cooking today i'm gonna be tracking it on my app elevate because it's so easy to track your food and your meals on there and i'll show you exactly what it'll kind of look like when you sign up it looks like this you get like your meal plan macros calories and then like all the recipes here but you can add in like your own foods and create your own recipes and stuff and i'll make sure that these recipes are on my app so you guys can just add them into your meal plan if you download it but anyways let's get into this video because i'm super hungry and i want to get this meal prep all ready for the week i'm going to be making four meals so that'll be enough for today and then the next three days all of these meals can just be stored in the fridge for up to three days and i always say three days because you want to be safe you know and they can all be sort of reheated and eaten etc but i'll go through each meal because obviously they're slightly different for breakfast we're going to be meal prepping breakfast bagels i love these because they're so high in protein and they're so easy to make like they're so quick and easy and you'll see exactly what i mean with these bagels you can literally mix up the flavors if you want to change them up but i've chosen spinach tomato mozzarella and turkey bacon because it's my favorite kind of flavor combination and these are the ingredients that you're going to need so to make my breakfast bagels you're going to need some tomatoes bagels i've got these ones you could also use the bagel thins but to be honest, I'm not going to lie, I feel like the bagel thins kind of offend me. They taste like cardboard, but I mean, if you are obviously in a deficit and you're struggling with the calories and stuff, maybe go for the thins. We've got some eggs. I, I chose organic because, I don't know, I just like them being really orange, but of course get any eggs. We've got spinach, some mozzarella, and then some turkey bacon. I find this in Morrison's, but I'm pretty sure most supermarkets now do turkey bacon. So first of all, we're just gonna chop up a handful of tomatoes. Then I like to chop up my spinach just to make it a little bit smaller. We're gonna take a large mixing bowl and crack in six eggs. They're not even that orange, for God's sake. Season well with salt and pepper. Then we're gonna add in our chopped spinach, tomatoes. Then gonna add in 60 grams of grated mozzarella and give that a mix. So the mixture should look like this. And now I'm just gonna chop up my turkey bacon and add that in. Mm. 
take a large baking dish and we're just gonna cut around it just to make sure that it doesn't stick. And we're gonna pop it into the oven for around 15 to 20 minutes, but just keep an eye on it. When the eggs are cooked, it's done. I normally store my bagels in foil, but I don't have any foil. Um, and it's actually okay to store it in this as well. So this is just baking paper, but I've cut it into rectangles and we're just gonna lay it out. It's gonna curl up, isn't it? And we're gonna get our bagels ready. Now, I'm not actually gonna toast these because I like to kind of just have the choice. And also I find if you toast them, it actually makes them go slightly stale i don't know if you guys have found that if you've ever done these before but yeah i'm just going to pop it on here and then you can also add like extra cheese to the top or whatever you want really there's our egg i'm just going to pop it on the base so i always get modeled up And then I'm just gonna to top mine with some extra mozzarella. But like I said, you can use any cheese that you like. So this is gonna be around 10 grams. Then we're gonna pop on the lids. And there we go, guys. There are my breakfast bagels. How easy were they? I'm just gonna wrap them up and then place them into some airtight containers. Per breakfast muffin, there are 408 calories and 30 grams of protein. That is breakfast done in literally 25 minutes maybe not even that and it's now time for lunch now with lunch recipes i know that the majority of you have lunch sort of out the house i am so lucky that i work from home and i'm able to kind of use my kitchen on a day on a day-to-day -day basis but if you're not i completely understand that and actually to be honest like I understand having to grab lunch really quickly, especially when you've got work and you're in between meetings and you just don't wanna spend hours sort of over the hob in your lunch break. So I thought that we could prepare something that you can literally grab out the fridge and you don't need to reheat it or anything like that. And I think that that's like the best thing to have for lunch, especially in the summer when you wanna be outside and just obviously enjoy the nice weather. So for our lunch in this week's meal prep video, we're gonna be making a Greek orzo salad i literally love orzo it's so easy to make and it tastes so good if you cannot find orzo in your supermarket you're looking in the wrong place because it is not a rice believe it or not it is actually a pasta so make sure you check out the pasta section in your supermarket but anyways these are the ingredients that you're going to need for my greek orzo pasta salad we're going to need some fresh parsley i don't know why they sell it in such big packets like who is going to use all of that parsley <laughs> then we've got some olive oil also olives i'm obsessed with olives at the moment i don't know why they just taste really good we've got lemon tomatoes some feta i actually found this feta in morrison's i love this feta it's so good it's so easy it's got like a little basket so you lift it out and it's already all chopped up i don't know i just think it's really cool then we've got onion red onion garlic cucumber and i've got around 400 grams of chicken here my knives are literally so blunt i'm gonna buy myself a new set because these are just not giving I also forgot we're gonna to have to cut up our olives. You can use a mixture of green or the dark ones. 
it's literally completely up to you. And there we are, there are my chopped up veggies. We've got red onion, cucumber, tomato, olives, and garlic. I'm using 240 grams of dried orzo, which is about 60 grams per person. Now that everything is basically prepared, we're going to make the dressing. Now the dressing is gonna be olive oil. I know this may scare some of you, but olive oil actually has really good benefits for the body. And it's definitely not to be like avoided as such. It's just obviously, if you're dieting, you have to be aware of the amount that you're using. So we're gonna have olive oil, lemon juice, and then the garlic that we chopped up. I'm just gonna mix it all together in a little bowl. I'm just gonna take a large bowl and that's gonna be what I'm gonna mix everything in. So we've got the red onion, cucumbers, tomatoes. I'm also gonna add in some chopped parsley. Then we've got the drained orzo. Finally, the cooked chicken. Add your dressing. Then lastly, we've got our feta. Look at this cute little basket that it comes in. I just love it. But anyway, so I've just popped the whole thing on the scale. I'm just gonna measure out 40 grams of feta. And then what I like to do is just slightly crumble up the feta. And then we give it a mix. And there we go, guys. There is my Greek orzo salad. Now we just need to portion it up into four containers. When you're portioning up your meal prep, so you can do it a few ways, and I spoke about this last time, but as I'm gonna be eating all four portions, it doesn't matter if some have more than others. And obviously I'm not tracking fully at the moment, but I'm just doing it as if I were, because I know some of you are. But if I'm like strictly tracking and some, say my boyfriend, Kieran, might be eating one portion, what I'll do is I'll put each pot on the scale and I'll weigh it as I put it in and I'll just make sure at the end that they're all the same. Or alternatively, weigh this whole thing, divide it by four and then just add it to each bowl. There is my Greek orzo pasta salad for just 467 calories per portion and 37 grams of protein. Each of these don't need reheating either guys, so you can literally just take it out of the fridge and eat it whenever. Lunch is now done and we are on to dinner. Now for dinner, I always like something a little bit more, I'd say like heartier, I guess is the word. But I also like it to be a little bit more filling because I'm always so much more hungrier at the end of the day. I don't know about you. Um, but yeah, for dinner this week, we are gonna be meal prepping a pasta recipe, but it's gonna be a broccoli, pea and bacon pasta. It's gonna be creamy and delicious. And again, you could actually eat this cold if you wanted to, but personally what I would do is I'd just pop it in the microwave for like two minutes when you want it. But this will actually keep in the fridge for up to three days again, and it's just so easy to store and super easy to cook. So these are the ingredients that you're gonna need. We're gonna need some peas. I'm just using frozen ones. We've got some cheddar cheese. You can use whatever one you want, like low fat, whatever you prefer. We've got some creme fraiche, lemon, light cream cheese, that's low fat cream cheese. We've got bacon medallions. Now I'm using bacon medallions because this will save you so many calories and they're actually higher in protein as well. So I'd look out for these if you're a fan of bacon. Then we've got broccoli, some dried pasta, parmesan, and lastly, some olive oil just to pop in the pan. So I'm just gonna weigh out 240 grams of dried pasta. You can use whatever shape you like. I'm using usually. I'm 
I'm gonna be using six rashers of bacon. Once your pasta and everything is mixed together, you're just gonna leave it over a low heat because we want this sauce slightly thicken and just for it to go a little bit creamier. And there we go, it's all gone super creamy and cheesy. Oh, that looks literally so good. Pasta is done, guys, this looks so good. I'm just gonna portion this out exactly the same as I did last time. I just find that's the easiest way because obviously, like I said, I literally eat it all. To finish off my pasta, I'm just going to top it with a little bit of Parmesan and then that will be it. There is my bacon, broccoli and pea pasta with two cheeses. This will keep in the fridge for up to three days. Each portion has 494 calories and 40 grams of protein. There is my meal prep for the next four days. That honestly took me about an hour and a half and I've got absolutely insane meals. We've got our breakfast muffins with turkey bacon, spinach, tomato. Then we've got our Greek orzo pasta salad. And then for dinner, we've got our pasta with broccoli, pea and bacon. And that is absolutely everything. So I've now meal prepped for the next three days. I feel on top of myself. I feel ready and planned because I've got really busy next few days. And honestly, if I don't meal prep, I really, really, really struggle to eat well. Like I am such a snacker. If something's not prepped and if I don't have to cook for like a recipe or whatever for my Instagram, I do just snack and that's just me being honest. So I'm just trying to really stay on it at the moment because obviously I'm trying to intuitively eat and I really need to keep an eye on my protein and just make sure that doesn't dip too much because that is the one thing that I always tend to struggle with when I am sort of intuitively eating and I'm not tracking my macros or my calories. But yeah, what I'm gonna do is next week, I'm actually gonna do like a whole video on how I'm eating now, how I'm like intuitively eating and like my top tips and everything. Cause I know that's been very much requested as well. But I hope you guys found this video really useful. Like I said, all of the macros, calories, ingredients will be below. So if you guys wanna make any of these recipes recipes then you can and I'll also put the recipes on my app as well so that they're there for you guys if you wish to sign up and I'll pop the link for that below but thanks so much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this video please make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you at the same time next week bye bye